today we are gonna do something super fun. Today we are gonna make a Godzilla page. Okay, so I found this iguana in National Geographic and I thought that I wanted to put him on to a building, but then I found this bridge, okay? Are you right? It's from Southwest Magazine. And we're gonna put him, look, put him on here, right? Like he's climbing on top of the bridge. How cool is that? So the first thing I wanna do is I have cut out some of underneath the bridge. And I, I don't feel like in the scale of what I want, that there's enough of a feeling of a city background. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I just got these really cool, they're called ATC stencils. They're made by Stencil Girl, but they're um, actually uh, designed by Seth Apter, who's an artist I like very much. Okay, I'll put a link to his, uh, to his website so you can buy them if you want. Um, but what I want to do is I want to make buildings in the background, okay, up to a certain point, right? Like, so like if there was a cityscape back here, so we're going to say up to the top, the top of the blue is going to be the highest building, okay? So that's going to kind of be our top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a kind of washi tape I don't like. So washi tape is a super low stick. We're not doing anything with this. It's not going to be part of it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of make that my own line of demarcation. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make buildings using this stencil by blocking off bits, right? So this one is going to be, I don't mind that the, uh, the top is going to be different levels, but I want the sides to be kind of straight. And we think of buildings in, I'm thinking of New York. So we think of buildings in New York as being kind of tall and straight, right? And I need to make sure I have these ones over here, especially, um, I don't want to stick this on here, um, tall enough or, or down far enough or over far enough. So this first one's going to be super important. I think this one is going to, I might even do this one twice like to, to get it up there for this to be a tall building. I want this to kind of offset this, right? I might not go twice as much, but let's, let's do this. And I'm gonna cheat. Usually I would use paint, but I want to be able to keep working on this this afternoon. So I'm going to use my bathtub. That's from the Make It By Marco bathtubs, which is the only reason I use inks because it makes it so easy to use. And we're gonna make these, um, let's see, do we want them colorful or do we want them kind of, I think I want them gray and black. So we're gonna use the gray and the black. I'm gonna start with gray because I don't want it to be maybe gray and black and blue because this is blue. Oh, maybe blues? I have two colors of blue. Ooh, but if we do, I'm gonna do this first one in blue. I'm gonna do it in this uh, faded jeans so it's not so like out there. Okay, so here's my blue. I have those little things on there too. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some ink on here. Here we go. And we're going to I'm going to do that last row again. Right there. 
so that it goes all the way to the bottom. And I'm gonna do another one in this ink color, so I'm going to, uh, to figure out where that's gonna be. Okay, so that's gonna be one of our buildings. Um, let's see, let's do this one. I want kind of a wide building, so I feel like, uh, I don't know I want any more in blue. Okay, I'm not gonna do any more in blue. The rest are gonna be black and gray. And I have a black and gray brush. Okay, so the next one over, I want to be shorter. So I'm fine with this side. And then it's it will have the bottom. Okay, so let's get a piece of washi tape to make this hard side this hard left edge. I want it to be a little bit fatter. Okay, there we go. So now we have this building and I'm gonna do gray. And I'm hoping this is gonna be dark enough. If it's not dark enough, then we'll do black. Sometimes the first time you put stuff on with a new blending tool, I haven't used the black one before, so I'm gonna hold it there. I don't think that's dark enough, so let's get the black out. Maybe we're gonna to have to go back to blue. Okay, that's okay. All right. So let's, we'll go back to blue. So this is the gray that did not work. This blue is fine. I don't want it to be stripey, so I'm not gonna do, oh, here's some more of those weird ones. Okay, I love that. I'm gonna make this another tall building. Maybe a little fatter. I'm gonna go the whole three of those, these guys. Maybe not all the way up there, but right there. Okay, we're gonna go black again this time. Oh, I think this is in the middle of one. Oops, oopsie. That is fine. All I could see, I was so dazzled by the stencil. All I could see was those three dots, but there's more. Okay, I feel like then let's finish that piece that we ran into, which is no big deal, right? So we're gonna come back here. We're gonna line this up again. And right, we're not doing heart surgery. We're making art. So that would not have been the end of the world. It's not the end of the world now. Okay, let's get this. Boop. Okay. Oh, perfect. Oh, I like that very much. So now I'm just making this one a little bit darker. Can we get those three circles again? I don't know if we'll see them, but I really, really love those. Okay. And I'm working on a silicone map. I don't think it goes down this far, so I just permanent stamped my um, desk, but be careful of that. Okay, so now I want another one. I'm And I'm thinking I don't want too many patterns. So I'm gonna make this one a blue one, just in case we see it in the back. Cause now we're getting to where you're not really gonna see much of anything in the back, right? It's gonna be, it's just gonna be peeking through some of these little cutout holes. Oh, darn it. I just dipped that in the, in the black, but this is a blue one, see blue. And it's pulling a little black off of the stencil. Oh, I li actually like that a lot. Okay, so now let's do another black one. We'll go with that first skinny one. Or do another blue one. Blue. Okay. 
Nice. And then let's do one more. We gotta do that fun, this guy. And we're gonna do this one in black. Now, I am not sure how, I just bapped my face with the stencil. Okay, let's get this put away, get this put away. That's gonna be the end of this. I just wanted some texture. See how quick that was? And the archival is uh, waterproof and um, permanent. Okay. You go over there. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's get our bridge back. See, you can just see a bit of that back there. So I wanted that. So now I was thinking I would go through, see where he comes out on here. Boop, boop, boop. So his tail is functionally cutting most of this off and then you just see a little bit of it back here. Okay, so what I was thinking was I would take, and I'm just going to use um, uh, Sharpie. I was going to actually use a, um, a paint pen, but I don't think that this is going to be so visible that we have to worry about it. And I'm going to make this a skyline. I'm just going to go over the top of these, straight across the top. And then straight down the sides. And then straight over. And up a little bit, right? And then over. And then down a little bit. And then over. And I'm gonna make the edge of this because we'll get to see this, right? We saw that we could see a tiny bit of it. So we want to make this the edge of the buildings. This is just kind of a fast little one. And I'm going to have to figure out, do I want to go all the way down the buildings? But I can do this first, and then we can stop and make a decision about that. And I don't want it to be, um, I don't want it to be perfect. That isn't the goal of this. This is, this is to be a little raggedy and just a background. Okay, so let's go back. Whoo! All right, put our dragon on. I think I want the definition of having those. And I'm not real big on having straight lines, but I do think it will be easier for me to make this if I just have a little line to run down here real quick. And you, who knows, maybe later on I'll come back in and I'll put in windows or do something like that. But I think for right now, this has that kind of urban feel that I'm looking for in buildings that aren't actually buildings, right? We know that. It's just the concept of a building. Okay. So here we go. So I kind of love how that came out. That's exactly what I was thinking. Let's get this off of here. Boop. I'm just going to throw that away. I don't keep things because I would wind up with everything covered in stuff. Okay, so let's look at this. I love that. I think I want it to be... I'm probably gonna put something down here, something maybe blue or something to continue that water theme. Um, okay, so now let's think about our circles. So I have a whole bunch of circles that are, um, so if you're wondering what the circles are, the circles are whatever you want them to be. Are they um, flying saucers that cause the radiation that made Godzilla come? I don't know, maybe. Are they something weird that I just found and I thought, oh, that'd be fun to put in my project? Yes, okay. So do we want them? I like that this circle breaks up the bridge. I really do. I kind of feel like I want his whole tail out though so we know 
So we know that he's a, a Godzilla. Okay, so one thing I wanna make sure I do is I'm gonna write the word Godzilla. So I probably want to leave a little space up there. Maybe I do wanna pull this down so I have more room for Godzilla. Okay, so that's our answer. We have a practical answer. Okay, so we're going to glue down these four. Gosh darn it. We're gonna glue down these four because we know where they're going, right? And I'm gonna find some, do we wanna try the smart glue? The smart glue kind of freaks me out. It's a little, it's from uh, scrapbook.com and it, you don't really push it. It kind of, it, you know what it reminds me of, honestly? It reminds me of rubber cement. My mom always used rubber cement when she was making signs and stuff. And it's a little tacky when you get it on. And if, if it sticks out, it stays tacky. It's a little tacky, like us, right? Okay, never mind. Okay, so, but it is very fast to put things on because it doesn't really glob up. And I'm kind of just wanting to get to the text part of this. So this is gonna go right there. Do, do, do. All right. Do, do, do. And you don't wanna to get too much of this crap on it because I've gotten too much stuff, too much of this smart glue on something and it gugs out everywhere and it's just kind of a nightmare. Okay, we're gonna to touch this very, very small edge of this just the tiniest edge there we go all right so now we have our whatever you want them to be to me they are flying saucers okay so now we need to put our bridge down and i think this is why i picked the this glue because i'm feeling a little bit wee little bit lazy today and i don't want to have to spend a lot of time with the glue stick or with anything. I just wanna stick it down. And I bought a ton of different other glue sticks so we can try them out. This just happened to be sitting open on my desk. And hopefully you can understand that every page doesn't have to be a work of art. Every Every magazine collage can just be fun. Like, this is just fun. He looks like Godzilla, right? So why not make him Godzilla? Because that makes me happy. Okay, there we go. All right. Let's try not to get too much of that glue out of there because it will be sticky. There we go, and we're, we can see the glue underneath. So this is a kind of glue that you can see underneath. I don't think it'll matter on our bridge, and it might go away when it dries, but, so that tells me that for my very special Godzilla, because we're gonna stick stuff on there and do all kinds of things, so it doesn't matter if our bridge is perfect. In fact, I'll just stick a thing on there, but I really would like my Godzilla to be, um, as realistic as possible for a mythical creature or for a iguana passing for a mythical creature, right? So we're just gonna stick this on and this may not stick great. It's that really shiny expensive paper that some of those magazines insist on using, but it'll at least get it started stuck. Okay. so. I want him over here, and then I want his toes down there. Okay, here we go. Like he's crawling up the bridge, right? Okay, here we go. Whoo, that was, that was a moment. That was a scary moment. Okay. Okay. 
my fingers are all covered in Uggs. So let's, uh, let's take a second and something clean and push him down. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know I just let the beagle out because he knows when mom's talking, it's time to go out. Okay, so let's go back to putting weird things on here. Okay, whew, that was exciting. All right, so did I have one down here? I'm probably pretty sure I did. Okay, let's do one there. And you could um, fuss about what colors go where you take as much time as you need on your project to make yourself happy because this is your project nobody else gets to say you're doing it the right way or the wrong way right right i just my husband says that all my art is just fixing mistakes i've made up until that point and I do feel like he has a little bit of a valid point. Hmm. But I am fine with that. It's a, uh, it's a style. At least I have a style. It's called fixing my mistakes. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, and you could have made your circles. They're, they're actually, I think they're... Um, they're spices, because I think I got these from a cooking magazine. Okay, here we go. All right, so that's the last one. And I'm going to go off the, almost off the bottom with this one, right? Because we don't want, one of the things that makes your magazine collage looks weird is if you do everything, I mean like weirder than a iguana on a bridge, is if you do everything right in the middle and nothing ever goes off the edges or the sides, um, that's what will mess you up. So now, here comes what we're going to do today. I have been searching for... It's, it's why I can go out and get a salad and call it work because I spent my salad time finding some really cool fonts that I could use. Okay, so see all these fonts? I knew I wanted to do this Godzilla word, right, coming across here in a very bold font. And I don't have that in me, but I saw this one. I love this one. So how they are, are is, okay? Um, so maybe I could do my D that way. Um, I love how they did, I don't know if you can see this. I love how they have the word and then dots in it, okay? So I love that part of this. Can we go back? Okay. We're going back. And then I, so that's another one like that. Okay, so so this gives me an idea of ways I can do it. Now, see, there's a G. There's a G. I don't know if I love that G. So now what I'll do is I'll try to find a G I like. Okay, there's a fig G. Oh, I kind of like that fig G. Look at that G. So it's kind of a big C and then a thing. All right. And I am taking a class from uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, Heidi Swap on how to use your handwriting. So I'm going to have other handwriting areas on here maybe. But um, I also know how to do this because I've been doing graphic arts for a while. So I want to have, if we say G-O-D-Z-I-L-L-L. Okay, so that kind of spaces it out, right? And I know it's going to be a super big font, right? Like a fat font. So since I have it spaced out, let's just go ahead and do it. So we're going to say, let's push this down, get some, to, oh, it's coming out. Okay. So we're going to say G, and that only went down so far. O. And then I really like that D. 
right? Or that, that R. So I'm going to try to, to, we're only going to do this part of the D. Z. I. L. L. A. Okay. So now you saw that I'm going to be working on this uh, later tonight to fill that in and to, to make it fatter and all that. I'm probably going to do some, uh, you know, going around these with paints and pens and things like that. And I will show you the finished Godzilla page. So there you have it. It turned out really cool. I love the background with those um, stencils we used. I love my little flying saucers. For my first attempt at that font, I think it came out really well. And overall, I think it's a wicked cool page.